Okay, today uh, I'm going to be doing a full walk around video of my 2023 Nissan Pro 4X. I bought this in uh, end of March of 2023. Uh, we put quite a lot of miles on this uh, driving around the state of Oregon. Uh, and since then, uh, for the past seven, eight months, uh, I've just been putting a lot of stuff on it to uh, get us ready for uh, make this our camping rig uh, anytime I want to kind of go off roading. With that, and then it's also my day to day, so I can't get too wild with stuff uh, because I do have to take this on the highway and go to work every day, but also want to make it just right for camping and going off roading. So uh, let's go and get started. Okay, so first let's start with the driver's side of just things that uh, we can see from this angle. Uh, so started off with a Nismo uh, roof rack. Uh, I wanted to do this one because it didn't uh, bolt into the roof. Loud bird. Uh, it actually sits on here with these uh, brackets. And so I just wanted to be able to have the flexibility of taking this off if I didn't end up liking it. Uh, I do like it, so I'm keeping it on. Next, we have a Rome box and the mount. Uh, that's an 83 liter uh, slim box uh, and the mount. I've got uh, some locks keeping that uh, safe there. Um, moving on back here, I've got uh, Max Tracks recovery boards. I've got uh, the Rough Country fender liners back there. Uh, so ideally in the future, I want to get a, a new suspension uh, lift put on this uh, just a couple inches and just wanted uh, those to be able to cover up uh, the framing back there. Um, I also on the tires uh, replaced the uh, OEM uh, lug nuts with just some uh, black uh, lug nuts. I just kind of like the black outlook uh, and then I do have a uh, lock nut on there to keep anyone from trying to take them. Uh, moving on to the back. Uh, so I've got the Overland High bed rack. Uh, went back and forth with the low versus the high. I wanted to be able to have enough uh, head space in here and just be able to get in and out um, without knocking my head too much on the low rack. So I went with a high rack. Uh, I went with these uh, Z1 Molly panels. I really love the look of these things. Uh, I just love how uh, precise they are and how there's openings for the lights, uh, the 120 volt outlet. So I've got both sides still waiting for Z1 to come out with the panel that goes on the front of the cab or the front of the bed, excuse me. Uh, so a couple other things we've got just a couple of the cleats from Nissan. Uh, then I've got a couple of the Z1 speed cleats. Um, I just kind of like a mixture of both. I mean, they've, they've both got pros and cons and I've got a video for that. And I've got videos for all these installs. Um, something you can't see is a differential um, breather modification. So there's a hose running from the back of the tail light down to the rear diff uh, that keeps that from getting clogged uh, when we're hitting the mud and water. Uh, also something you can't see, uh, but you'll be able to hear it in a second, is I installed the uh, locking tailgate. So when I lock my tailgate or lock my car it also locks the tailgate um and so and unlocks it and so we like that uh there's a uh, one thing on here it's just like an anti-theft device uh to keep people from removing the tailgate um and then kind of venturing over here to the passenger side i've um installed the uh like the exhaust uh, i think it's from nissan i don't think it's even the nismo and i think it's just the black finished exhaust uh it's fine nothing too special about it moving on to the passenger side uh not much really to look at here uh other than these uh Thule kayak uh, mounts that i installed on top of the roof rack uh they're great uh, so i've actually got my kayak sitting over here i'm probably going to put it up uh for the winter here in a moment but uh, it's nice to just maybe throw up there and then those fold down and have like a low profile. Uh, and so it's really nice for wind uh, or great for not catching wind as much as if it was up all the time. And so when I need the kayak, I can fold those up. Uh, so those are nice. Um, moving on to the front, 
Uh, this is kind of where we have a lot going on. Up at the top of the Nismo rack, we have a 42 inch diode dynamic light bar. You can kind of see running down the passenger side of the windshield, I've got a rubber grommet that kind of keeps all that wiring for that uh, concealed. Then I've got diode dynamic ditch lights, two of them here. Um, if I can get that in focus, I've also got a GMRS ghost antenna. Moving towards the grill, I've got the Raptor style lights on the front. Uh, I've also, a bigger install was this uh, CBI bumper. Um, and so it's a steel covert bumper. Uh, I've got the anchor points here. Um, I've got a 12,000 uh, pound winch uh, from uh, Apex. It's a, the Harbor Freight one. Uh, and then this kind of hides the in Oregon, we have to have our license plates on the front of our vehicles. And so I had to find something that would, you know, mount the license plate, but then I could also use the winch. I don't know how well this is going to work if I have to have, have, actually have to winch myself out. This whole thing will get ripped off, uh, but it is nice to have. And I like the look of it. Um, so we'll try to come up with some modifications there so that it doesn't rip off. Um, and then also I've got another, I think this is a 30 inch diode dynamic light bar uh, here on the covert bumper. Also have the OEM uh, hood wind deflector. It's fine. Um, there's this little piece right here. It's just a slide on piece, uh, but I'm always having to come over here and like tighten it a little bit. Uh, sometimes it's not the best. It's also the one where you had to drill into the hood. So I don't know what my recommendation is on that. I think probably some of the other versions of the hood wind deflector will be just fine uh, that you don't have to drill into. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside before we go up under the hood. Um, so, I mean, just things that came with the vehicle, uh, those lighted panels, uh, things that didn't. Um, so I've got my GMRS radio there uh, on a mount. Uh, so the radio is actually underneath the steering column and then the uh, speaker and the you know channels and all that are right there. And I just got like a magnetic mic mount uh, that I've used some 3M tape uh, to put underneath the dash. Um, moving kind of up here, I've got a screen protector. Just got that from Amazon on the screen. You can kind of see it around the edges. Um, picked this off of Amazon. It's just a nice little insert. It's really nice. I remember I have to do zooms while I'm traveling. Uh, I can just prop my phone up there and it points it right at you. Um, so you can kind of zoom that way. Uh, I've got the red line radar detector. I've got the Thinkware uh, dash cam and that also has a rear facing dash cam that you can see out the back window. Um, what else do I have in here? Just looking here, I've got this um, Musology kind of armrest cover. It's been nice. I've had it on for a couple of weeks. Also got their insert tray there uh, for the middle console. Something you can't see under the middle console is the impact sensor detector, impact sensor uh, alarm that I had to run underneath the middle console. Again, videos for all these things. I've got this ball mount here, so when we're um, needing to use like Gaia on my iPad, we'll mount uh, an arm here and have the iPad uh, so we can see that. Um, I also put a 12 volt charger right here, so that didn't come standard on the 2023 uh, trim, uh, so I had to put that in myself. Uh, also got window tent on all the windows. So I think I put 15s on the front and uh, 35s on the back. Make pretty close to matching up. I think the backs are a little bit darker uh, because it already had some factory window tint. Um, I'm gonna actually go to the other side. I uh, just got my Vi Air compressor, uh, but I'm gonna go to the other side to show you underneath. Underneath the seat, get it. 
uh, I've got the cargo nets and the hardest thing to find were those pegs. Uh, I Fortunately, there's somebody on the Frontier forum that reached out and said they had them from an old model and were able to give them to me. I, I think I made a Venmo them five bucks, um, but these were really hard to find. Uh, I went to a bunch of Nissan dealerships and they said they don't have a product number for them and that they were just supposed to come with the cargo hold, but they didn't. So that could not help me there. Um, and let's take a look under the hood. We just have a few things there. I'll show you this one last thing uh, inside uh, on my visor uh, is my remote to my lights and all my light bars. So that's for the trigger four. And so I've got all my lights rigged up on the trigger four panel in here. So I haven't done much in here, still stock intake, but just a lot of wiring. Uh, so we've got the light, the ditch lights, the GMRS antenna, um, a lot of wiring coming over here to the battery. I think my battery and my fuse box is different because of the auto start stop. Some people have watched my videos said like, hey, why does your battery look so much bigger? I think it's because I've got the auto start stop feature that uh, didn't come equipped in all vehicles. Here's a trigger four. So all the lights run into that. And so I can turn them on, man I can turn them on manually from here um, or use that remote. And it also has an app. Um, got this, I, I didn't know this was controversial until Facebook brought it up a month ago, but um, I've got this catch can. I change it every time, I empty it every time I change my oil, uh, and there's always something in there. Uh, sometimes it looks like clean oil, sometimes it's a little cloudy. Um, I, I don't know if it's working. It makes me feel better, I guess, uh, that it seems to be doing something. Um, I don't think it's hurting the vehicle, so uh, not a huge expense to make me feel like this thing's gonna last a little bit longer. Um, I think that is really it on uh, underneath. Oh, I've got one more thing, two more things. One, um, these Z1 struts, these are the extra large struts uh, so I can get a little bit more clearance out of my hood. That's uh, nice when you're having to dump like a huge five quart uh, oil can into your reservoir there. Uh, and then one little thing, it's kind of dumb, but we live in the country and so we have mice. Um, so I've just got this mice thing zip tied here and it's kind of a fun light show at night um, and it emits a little beep. Uh, but so far, no nest in my engine. Okay, that is it. So just wanted to do a quick walk around of everything we've done so far. Uh, my next big things. I think I'm going with the All Dogs Off-Road Coney Lift. Um, and so that'll be a front and rear suspension lift. They said it should be about two inches. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and install the Z1 upper control arms along with that all dog off-road suspension kit. I don't know about tires and wheels yet. I mean, the wheels seem fine to me. Uh, it's the tires that I'm having already a little problem on water. Um, I've slid a couple of times uh, just from driving in the city on concrete roads um, and uh, not hydroplane fully, but just kind of almost fishtail a little bit. Uh, so don't like that, and I wasn't even driving that fast, but I mean, these are newer tires, only ha haven't had it a year yet, so I think what I'm going to do is let them run down their treads until it's time to replace them and then go with something bigger, maybe the KO2s. And then my next big purchase will be the rooftop tent. I'm, I've got my heart set on the iCamper 3.0 Mini, um, but I went by their showroom in Tacoma, Washington, and they said the bed rack needs some modifications, so I've got a plan for that. I just need Nismo to send me two of these bars. Uh, I like having two on this side and then two on that side. I need two more for the roof to make this thing work uh, with the eye camper. So Nismo, please make them. Um, I just emailed them last week and they said not yet. So that's it. I uh, really appreciate y'all watching all my videos. I'm gonna leave uh, links in for all these products that we have in the vehicle. Um, please don't go look up all the pricing because I don't want to know how much I've already spent. And then also check out other videos on my channel. I've got installs videos for every single thing on this vehicle. 
I uh, really appreciate your support. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any questions. Thanks for watching.